and hello everyone and this is EC the gamer and we're continuing with Horizon Zero Dawn uh, well, last time we finished uh, uh, we finished a mission you know we were finding a brother of uh, we were finding a, a family member of a, of a girl there the she was looking for her brother he seemed to have like a mental condition or something like that we finally found him we were able to help them you know and then we went to the to talk to ross before the proving uh, and yeah he pretty much he says to us goodbye because he he decided to just leave the place where he lived to maybe just disappear so that Aloy would not follow him or, or try to look for him you know to give her pretty much a, f a fresh start because she was af if she passed the proving she pretty much uh, yeah she becomes a member of the tribe so she wouldn't be alone anymore so yeah uh, that was pretty much it that's what that was what pretty much happened you know uh, so we finally got uh we got permission to enter in the into i believe it's called mother's heart and we finally found the uh, the kid that we actually say when we when Aloy was a girl a little girl so and he gave us this outfit that she has so yeah that was that's pretty much a summary of uh of what we did on the last video so yeah, as I always say, you know, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, also leave a comment regarding this game, and don't forget to ring the bell, that way you can get notified of my videos, so yeah, let's continue. We're supposed to go to the Matrix Lush, 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 I'm oh, sorry. No, we should do yeah, this was the kid tab. That's his name. I'm preoccupied. His <laughs> other is here. Like this, you know. Huh. Nice. That's not really cool. He has I a want baby. Is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Every year this happens. Every year. Wow. This is not trying to run a brave trail. What an idiot he is. Every year this happens. Every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. 
Uh, let me see something. Jarn the Climber. It is not my name, but it should be. Huh. How are you? Oh, wait a second. There's something there. I wasn't drunk when I ran the proving. I'm out of one. There we go. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. <laughs> In the beginning, all life came from all mother. Okay, let me hear this. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Okay. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. Okay. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines. So I assume the faithless are the humanity of the past. Machines. A machine more powerful than any other. The metal devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machine. I assume that's like an uh, artificial intelligence or something like that, like an AI. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed more devoted than ever. The Metal okay. Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She wow. struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. Okay, the so machines that's the, the were driven body. mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We okay. built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted, metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. Huh. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers. Don't. Uh, Aloy, you have to get out of here. Are never over. Still, the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little more boys and girls who have not been paid. Huh. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Okay. Listen carefully now. For you'll have to tell this when nah, I'm gone. This just doesn't compare to five years ago. All the entertainment, the dancing, all the beer. <sighs> it was the just best. Beasts are still at all the were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort huh. of her wild. I didn't know outcasts could come to the west. I've been good. Though My they mother took says I should be quiet. Uh, I'm just a kid. More. Oh, the way, the way they say like. The machines have whispered to them. So a lot of the people actually know who really she is. You know. To make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. Aloy, over here. Holy crap! It's the merchant. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. 
Pretend like we've never met. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. Uh. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. You know, that's a very interesting thing. The fact that, you know, Ross, he just decided that, you know, he sh she had learned everything that he sh he could he could have teach her, you know. So he assumed that she's going to win the proving. What hap what would have happened if what would happen if she actually doesn't win? <laughs> he just leave her alone. She has to fend for herself. She would have to fend for herself. <laughs> so, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Yeah. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? That's true. Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. Huh. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you uh. can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's... Okay, what do we have here? You know, let me buy this to tie down and mobilize them. Larger targets require more rope and attacking. Yeah. There we go. What is this? It says play movie. Oh, okay. It actually shows you how to use it. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Okay. here to sell okay yeah I'm going to try at least one of them time you'll be a brave yeah I have the rope after there okay potion upgrade there we go Okay, I pretty much have everything there. Yeah, I don't have anything else. So. Here we go. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, Jessa. we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us okay. under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude. Some written by the hand. 
Yeah, they they really don't like each other. Hold your fruit, nor uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th John King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. <laughs> Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read. Okay, so... So it would seem like this Karja, they were... Their king, uh, it wasn't a murderer, you know, it was a killer, and... The one that is now in charge actually killed him, I believe was his son. Based on his story. But I don't know, I don't trust them, you know. After two years they now appear. Is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please. Can't you lend him your ears? <laughs> hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the oh. Radiant Line. <coughs> he was of the Nora. Nora. Mm -hmm. On the eve mm -hmm. of your mm -hmm. proving, mm -hmm. know detected. the Karja stand with you the Karja as the Sun's light Probably a focus for other person on the right. As those you have nurtured, Take their places among your braves. We join your prayers that they will stand tall in the sun. I am grateful for your audience. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. Huh. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Yeah. Oh, Lynn. You making friends with locals, are we? Huh. It's very interesting. So, the car, yeah, they embrace the technology, you know, it's their, their way to use it. The Nora, based on the stories, I I assume there were the people that learned from their mistake. Uh, I mean, then they're sending from those people that maybe they used the machine way too much, and they they learn from the mistake that they made in the past. But the Karja, yeah, they want to use the technology. I'll I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> okay, Aaron. Hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. Oh, yeah. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> huh. I've never nice seen armor? armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked. Impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Okay. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. 
from where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Okay, let me see. What else Olin. do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Huh. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. Okay. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Now, why would the Karja come after two years? You know, there has to be a, has to be something. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Red Raids. Yeah, I got a question about that. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Yeah, what the heck I is never this? heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden <laughs> away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. <laughs> But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? The, the well, mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for... So what the... So he's saying that the machines are getting worse? So they're like, maybe becoming more animal-like? Sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? Yeah. The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. Okay. Together, we did the impossible, took back Meridian, and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne, and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, okay. Avad, no more slavery. That's the, the new king. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now. Even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Yeah. Who the heck are the Osaram free Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things: arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are okay, those? Freebooters. Okay. I That's guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Okay. So those are another tribe. It's a tribe of mercenaries. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Okay. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? <laughs> Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather uh, direct. I really like this, you know. Uh, it happened uh, like uh, in reminiscent of you know, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, you know, those types of game. Uh, the, the duration. You said the okay. machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. <laughs> well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. 
Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. Oh. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't. Well, this reminds me of there's a, uh, this TV show is called Ruby. R-W-B-Y. Uh, and the greens in there, in that case, there are called, uh, the monsters there are called green. And they're, they're constantly appearing new ones. Uh, bigger and much tougher. So yeah, that now thanks to this guy, I actually now understand why the machines are. That that's the thing that I was thinking. You know, there are some machines that they seem like docile, but immediately after they see you, they attack you. Even the ones that they're called the Strider, you would think that those were are the more, the more, less hostile, but they all of them attack you. The moment they see you, they they immediately attack you. So. It, they're very different from animals. Animals, they don't immediately attack you, you know. They actually run off, you know. Telling. Okay, so... Let me see the car yet. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But we'll take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Okay. Just how big is Meridian? What's oh, okay. it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. Okay. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. So it's a really cool city. Yeah, I was thinking why the heck one of the... There, there's some of them that are still like highlighted. So if you the, there's more to the conversation. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. Yeah, okay. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. Okay, this is, this is the same. So it was hard to take them down, but, but then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machine, a few more years pass and they start attacking. If that wasn't bad enough, Entirely new. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. Yes, so I already see it. Happen. The same thing. And no one knows. Okay, now we are. Okay, that was pretty much. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Yeah, that's it. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah, look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want yeah, it. He's trying to... Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, To too, recruit her so, uh, to Meridian. See you around, maybe? Uh oh supposed to forget what the Karja did to our tribe? All mothers give me strength. All mother The Karja took my little okay. sister. Yeah, everyone is moving away. Ago. All mother forgive them. Okay, I think everyone is moving to the same place. Love at a festival. 
suppose it's only fitting they part ways, isn't it? Oh. Oh, damn it. What the heck? Yeah, I cannot move there. Shame that musician. That, let me try to record just to be on the safe side. a baby there <laughs> I noticed now it's very weird to see babies like this and just it reminds me of Death Stranding ah. oh expecting more tomatoes uh, in truth I huh. I thought they were throwing stones stones hit a lot harder you'd know the difference if you wish to speak we should do so after the ceremony I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. So many spears. Spears everywhere. A after the ceremony, please. Better to talk then. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. So these are the people that... Aloy. Take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Wow. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Yeah, that's the the guy there is the one that threw me the rock. I believe I believe she has the scar. <laughs> yeah, for Ross. In honor of Ross. And all he did to help me get here. Yeah. Oh mother Hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Okay. So, the proving begins. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Everyone knows Tirsa wants the outcast for the win and the lounge row on Your blessing was most illuminating. Huh. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who huh. believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Okay. Holy crap. 
Okay, what is the Sun King? Who is king? the Sun King you speak for? His luminance, Avad, is the 14th king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We okay. are his instruments, not his companions. <laughs> I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's wow. the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. Okay, the if your sun, sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. <laughs> if the vessel is flawed, Indeed, in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed, and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. Yeah, those are so excuses. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. And why not? Why not? Exactly. The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, wow. it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, oh. but women run things around here. Holy crap. The way she says that. I haven't seen anything dangling. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman, and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> the way is, oh, no, no, no. Like he has sent to us that no, like, ho, oh, oh, ho, hell no. <laughs> Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Ured. The glory of the Karja is the Sun's glory, reflected. We Sun Priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My <laughs> exactly. apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the Sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So I assume us okay, Meridian. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. <laughs> Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Yeah, so every anyone who goes here becomes an exile. Okay. Uh, why did you Did you come? come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty. And also, my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my uh, shield, a good man. Okay. Why war were the Karja the at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us. Though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Huh. Okay, I think that was enough. I don't see anything else. This has been... Illuminated, but yeah. I should get going. Uh, you have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, 
and the dusk have light to guide your path. It's for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. Okay, let me see here. I'm with High Major Glantra. We shouldn't let these Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. Okay. Shame so that there's some people that still like. Uh, I can't wait for the rest of your times when we all come together. Okay, let me talk to. Let me talk to this that guy. That blessing first. wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Huh. Really. Okay, yeah. All Tell in. me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly this. I've known okay. him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I don't see anything else. I I think I talked I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Uh, nice armor. <laughs> That's yeah, nothing well. Else. Okay, Teresa. Uh, I. No. God damn! I say Teresa. It's Tir. It's Tirsa. Tirsa. Now that the blessing has been. Okay, Tirsa. I saw it there. You and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you. Given your circumstances. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I hated it. Uh, it meant nothing. Uh, you know, this one seems like the right one, but at the same time, I don't know how I'm going to use this. I can't this say one. it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Uh, one or two. Okay, uh, let me go with this. The Ross matriarchs. told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessing. Very interesting though. In here, the one, so you see, it, in the other, is a very, you know, is the male is the one as always the king, but here is the actually the the females, the the one that controls everything, or at least are the leaders. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year. We count three high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. Okay. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Oh, okay. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. Yeah, so the older they are, the more higher in the, in the hierarchy. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Yeah, they, they are like... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the older they are, you know, and... Not older, more like... But yeah, like you said, the more children. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. And that's the other, Lance... Lansra. I believe that's the how it's pronounced. Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. <laughs> it's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. Okay. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. Oh, okay. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. 
I think rather it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13 who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be. So, okay, so he killed her mother and the proving he didn't appear. I assume that's going to be a character that we maybe we'll see later. I'm surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept Aloy, but the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's tr that's true, you know. Like, they're very humane, but you know, uh, if it wasn't because she had Ross, she would have been killed, you know, easily. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Yeah. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. Yeah, she knows. Okay, Rost. Okay. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy, but Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Well, at least we got a bit more information, although it's passing a lot, so... I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... I've wanted answers for so long. Yeah, she understands. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Okay. Talk to Olin. Here it is. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. Oh yeah, right. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. Yep. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. <coughs> Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Uh -huh. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North <laughs> acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. Uh, who are what you? What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. 
someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. <laughs> so you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. <laughs> I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. Uh. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. Yeah, you should... Does. Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> yeah, something... Find fortune in your trials, Aloy. Find fortune in your trials, Aloy. Go in light. Okay. I tried some Nora brew. Yeah, well, good. Aloy, did you? Uh, I should go. Yeah. Until we meet again. I think I've spoken with everyone. Am I correct? Yeah, I don't see anyone else. I won't deny them the chance. I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, uh, I thought uh, that would, I would have enough time to actually, you know, go to the proving, but no, there's still. Uh, there was a lot of information that we got there, so it's actually. I'd rather have that than just continue with the proving, you know. At least we got a bit more contest in the story or, or some um, some things, you know, we didn't got the full story. You know, like the the crying of Ross, the why she was cast, you know. It seemed that the only way they're going to get some information is actually winning the proving so So yeah, we'll see what happens in the the next video that I do. And as I always say, you know, uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. Also, leave a comment regarding the, you know, talk, anything you want to talk about this this game. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, you can get notified of the videos that I post. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is Easy the Gamer signing off. And until we see you on the next video.